Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. So today, um, I'm showing a, a little bit of my visit to the Hood, Count, Hood County Amateur Radio Club Field Day site. Um, I got a couple of videos that I'm putting out uh, that I shot while I was there. Uh, one of the things that I saw was very interesting, and you saw just a little bit of it um, in the video last week uh, of the overview that I did for the uh, the visit. But this one is of the tape measure JPO. We kind of go a little bit more into it, and I wanted to show you uh, how Scott explained uh, how to make one of these, and. Uh, Potentially later on, maybe I might do a video and actually make one. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show you all an overview of the of that um, uh, antenna and how he made it. So let's look at the video. Pardon the wind noise, please. Um, I forgot to bring my microphone with me. Um, so there is some wind noise. There is some breathing noise. I apologize for that. Uh, but it is a very interesting antenna very easy to make um, especially on the cheap so uh, let's go over to that full length of pvc on that part and uh, i decided to try it make it a little bit lighter weight damn that works just as well if not better sorry Windy and it hangs up, but it attaches right there. You have to find, you know, this being zero ohms and several thousand ohms, you have to find where your 50 ohm point is. Huh. It just happened to be right there. On the other one, it's a little bit lower, down right there. It varies for some reason. But, uh, Maybe the thickness of the tape or the width of the tape or something? Who knows? Very I neat. Know. And then I tried this with the, the choke. Didn't seem to make any difference on it, so I left it off of that one. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that is really neat. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's rolled up in a tree or something. The higher you get this guy, the better that thing works. I'm able to get stations that uh, my base units only take watts. On the handheld, I can get stationed off this about 10 feet up on my handheld that I can't get from my base. That antenna's on top of the radio is all about. Yeah. Lots of stuff on the copper J poles and even the twin lead, you know, the 300 ohm, 450 ohm twin lead. I've made one of those too. It works just as well. I got lots of broken tape measures. My son, son-in-law is a carpenter. So when you get to broken one, you know the ends break off. They go, so bring them with me. I'll make antennas. There you go. There you go. Well, Scott, thank you very much for talking to us and showing us your antenna. I'm definitely going to have to look more into that and maybe even do a, a build video on it for my channel here in a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're easy to build. And, you know, if you got a broke tape measure, put it to use. Hmm. Metal's metal. It doesn't care whether it's flat or brown. Hmm. Is that two meter? Yep. This one is just straight two meter. That one, the piece in between there actually blocks the UHF from going any higher but yet it allows the VHF to go to the lane. <laughs> very neat well Scott again thank you very much and this spot is what makes it where the 2 meter will go the entire length of the 440 stops here Connection point is a little bit lower than that other one. All that solder is where I was testing and trying to find it. So, do you have to put it on there and then test the ohms? That's the way I was doing it. Uh, I was testing the SWR meter on the radio and, you know, trying to get the lowest point. 
And then I figured out, well, if I put a piece of coax with some alligator clips and then just do it that way, it's a lot easier to soldering and unsoldering. So yeah. that's what I did. I found it, I marked the point, then I went back in and soldered it down. Of course, that's just taped to give it a little bit of support there. Mm -hmm. That is very neat. Yeah. But, uh... So then overall length of the two meter, do you know off the top of your head? I believe from from the base here to the tip, I think is 57 and a half or 58 and a half inches. I'd have to... And that would be a half life? Well, it's actually three quarter way from the bottom here. Uh, your matching stuff, I believe this is 19.2 inches from here to the bottom of the curve here. And three times that is your overall length. Hmm. That way, like I say, you know, you got your low impedance here and a high impedance here. Well, on a dipole at the ends, you're gonna have the high impedance on each end, low impedance in the middle. So you match your impedance between the high and high, so that becomes a dipole. And the same is true on the UHF side. This part is actually three quarter waves of UHF, whereas it's uh, one quarter of VHF. Huh. So it's, it's pretty simple, actually. I just didn't know when I started this that it would be this simple. Very neat. It does work pretty well. All right, so I hope that y'all enjoyed that video. Um, I'm really interested in, in this j -Pole. It's very neat how you can uh, make something out of just, you know, basically anything. And that's really what amateur radio is all about, uh, making something out of nothing. I mean, with antennas especially, uh, you know, there's, there's, you can use pretty much anything. Uh, you can use this, this fence right behind me here uh, if you wanted to for HF. Um, you can use a, a rain gutter. You can use a... Uh, a clothesline or a um, you know just a random wire uh, it, the antennas are so easy to use you get a tuner and you might not get the best uh, reception out of them but uh, you're gonna have good quality or a, a decent quality uh, antenna for next to nothing or something that you already have laying around the house so uh, I think it's really neat and uh, you know I hope that you enjoyed the video I'm gonna have a couple other videos linked right over here so make sure you check those out um, i'll put the overview video uh, that i did in here as well and um, so i guess until next time y'all make sure you uh, click on that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss anything uh, follow me on facebook twitter instagram uh, the links to all of those will be in the, the description box below and if you like what you saw here please uh, consider becoming a patron uh, simply, you know, a dollar an episode or something like that would be great uh, helping me financially so I can make some more of these. Uh, but anyways, that is it. Y'all, thank y'all very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.